I'm Adam Rowe and I'm playing games, so it's role playing games. Welcome to role playing. Hey, my eyes are up here, man. Oh, sorry. Oh, geez. Wow. Wow, Adam. Wow. Bjorg's like, hey, I know I'm handsome, but I'm a person too. <laughs> that was great. I think Bjorg may be like my favorite character that we've invented. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, I'll hiss at you as well. Ow, that did not stop you from from poking Axing me. Axing Pokemon. Stop poking me! Hey, what do you call a Jamaican chiropractor? A Pokemon? Damn it, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of gave that away. Though. That hey, you my you fault. said the punchline before you made the joke. Well, don't you this know. This isn't my fault. Take Oh, God! That's right. Take responsibility for your own actions. I'm going to think of another bad joke that I won't fuck up. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. You know what? These guys are kind of handsome. If you're into that, I'm not. I don't, I don't know what you mean. The wooden shoes. You said it. I didn't say it. <laughs> like, geez, Zach, these, you're these so guys, gay. Yeah, like, these guys are kind of hand. <laughs> these, like, these guys are kind of handsome. Is what my gay friend over here <laughs> would say. <laughs> I had a friend in high school who would do that. He'd go up to our gay friends and he'd start like rubbing his hands all over them. Be like, oh yeah, you're so handsome. I just want to... And he'd be like, oh, get off me. You're so weird. Like, just stop. And then he'd like bring him back and be like, oh, you're so fucking hot. Be like, oh, stop it, like, dude. Like, just be like, like one of those like angry closet gays. Like, you love this, don't you? You disgust me. <laughs> uh, I'm sweaty. Yeah, I'll say. <laughs> I'm not. I'm perfectly smooth. Recording and video games makes me hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot in here. You suck. Yeah, this lady sucks. You! Thou also sucketh! Yeah, take an axe in your shoulder. And other th among other things. You hit me with a stick. My axe should be hurting a lot more. Yeah. Let's shoot this guy. Oh yeah, I got my blunderbuss. Blunder buses at Alright, that doesn't help me if I don't put it on. Put it on. Yeah. I wanna counter you. There, there we, we go. Mmm! Axe in your chest. And I don't mean the body spray. <laughs> Axe body spray. I literally oh wait no, it's old spice. We can't mix the brands up. Or else the world will explode. I want to tell you guys, because, like, you know, there's the legendary um, Old Spice commercials with the guy who's like, Hello, ladies. Look at your man. And then there's also the really funny ones with Terry Crews. Yeah. And they just started airing commercials with both of them in it. That's cool. Where they're, like, in a competition with each other. Oh, yeah. Isn't it, like, the, two different, types of, like, the two different types of Old Spice? Yeah, they're, like, trying to sell the different flavors. I actually really like the, the Terry Crews ones. I like the one where he's like, I'm a son! <laughs> My favorite is, um, there's a YouTube video by, um, I think the user is named Mountain Dew. Yeah. But it, it looks like Mautendo. But he he does, um, the Mario 64 theme <laughs> with that commercial. The bomb theme, yeah. yeah. What, 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 like, what? Body what, wash, what? body wash, powerful odors, powerful odors. The second one, he did two of them. The second one's great. Oh, like the fast-paced one? Yeah. Did I already go down? Yes, you went down. I go down, down, shibba dibba -da -wa. That, that band sucks. And sugar, yeah. we're going down, gunning. I'm gonna yeah. throw a rock at him. Can you? Yes. Eh. I want his Run. attention <laughs> and his attention alone. Run. Run, Fjarist. Yeah! Yorg. You're not gonna hit me with your... Oh, it's a statue. I thought it was a log. He's got a whole statue? Yep. But not anymore. I guess... I feel like a badass over here. Watch yeah. out, guys. We got a badass over here. Yeah. That guy's just staring off into the beautiful sunset. He's like, what is life? He's like, Shut up, bird. Yeah, he's like, I'm trying I'm to ruining my home. Yeah, right? He's just like, I he's like, you know what, maybe hunters aren't so bad. Maybe we don't have to be enemies. Maybe we could just get along. Oh, fuck, you asshole! <laughs> don't ruin this for me, bird. Spurdies. These birds have a little more life, too. Yeah. We're getting into higher level areas. Bird life. 
the sequel to uh, this the the what? avi the avian only sequel to Animal Crossing, just birds. Bird life. You know what? Actually, um, someone had a really cool idea on Tumblr. They were talking about making an Animal Crossing. But and GTA Five crossover. <laughs> that that would be fantastic. I would play that. Animal Animal City. <laughs> Grand Theft Animal Crossing. I don't know, but somebody talked about doing, like, an underwater Animal Crossing, and I actually think it'd be kind of cool. With just, like, aquatic Yeah, you can make it, like, underwater, but then, like, your neighbors could be, like, sharks and crabs and fishies. You don't really have, like, any... You have amphibious creatures in Animal Crossing. Yeah, you got frogs. frogs There's a robot frog. Isn't it, like, robot? Or something? It's like like ribot or something? Ribots. Bunny rabbits. I was just thinking that too from the from, old Sonic. From Sonic the Sad the AM, they call it Sonic the Fred and Hog. Bad Touch the Hedgehog. Yeah. He's another one of my favorite characters. Bjorg and Bad Touch are two of my favorite. Have we have we created any other characters on the show? Um, I guess can we have like Friendo the Fiend and Well, we've created Fuck some like pseudo pseudo concepts like yeah. basic mechanics and cowboy bitch slap. Yeah, cowboy bitch slap. Quentin Tarantino presents. Cowboy bitch slap. Cowboy. Starring my axe in this man's back. That didn't do it. He's got a ball. And she. Oh, God, no. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, that almost had a musical quality to it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Whoa. <laughs> God damn it, buddy. <laughs> Hank Hill. I'll kick your ass. Somebody made a Hank Hill in a wrestling game and named him uh, Hank. Oh, God. Oh, Named him my Hank. life, Hank Hell. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, my friend, one of my friends made no! me, made me a bunch uh, of uh, me made me some me fighters for Super Smash Bros. Uh, you. Okay. He created Hank Hill. He created uh, Sakurai, and they actually look like the people they're supposed to be. Cool. I'm gonna make this guy be what he's supposed to be. Dead. Yeah. The um. The most proud of a me I ever made was I made a, um, not sock, um, I made the Pokemon throw. I remember that. That was on your 3DS, Yeah. Right? That was actually very... The only thing that was weird is, um, I used his eyebrows to make his, like, nose eyebrow. So whenever he would express, his nose would, like, split in half. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if he was expressionless, he was fine, but then, like, his nose would, like, break in half. I'm so happy I could split my nose. <laughs> I've been there before. You just, you just like make like, like like hey, Adam, we hit fifty subscribers. No splits in half. <laughs> For reason, that's just making me think of an anime is when guys get like bloody noses when they see boobies or panties. Yeah, I never quite understood that. Like, I can understand the giant sweat drop means embarrassment. Right. But, like, why bleed when you see a hot girl? I mean, I don't like, know. Do, you, do you have some kind of like medical condition where you, <laughs> you see a hot girl, you just start like bleeding? Your blood pressure. But, uh, Sky speak, speaking of condition, there actually is a pretty funny anime called Girls Bravo, where the main character is literally allergic to girls. Like, a girl will touch him and it'll break out in, like, hives. I, I'm vaguely familiar with that one. There's a lot of anime I haven't seen, but I am aware of. Actually, a lot of modern anime, I feel, I feel sucks. And a lot of you are probably going to hate me for this. Not a fan of Attack on Titan. I know it's um, very popular. Honestly, and the art style is very cool, but I'm not a fan my, of the writing. My really good friend Clifford Chapin voices Connie on Attack on Titan. And he does a great job with it, and it's absolutely no, like, no commentary on Cliff's work at all, because I actually think he's a fantastic voice actor. No, yeah. Um, it, guys, look up Clifford Chapin and go look up his work, because he's done some other stuff and he does some fantastic stuff, but I myself am not a great big fan of Attack on Titan either. Like, it's a beautiful series. It's The animation's very cool. But, but. just, like, it's just, I feel like it's a lot of filler. Oh, yeah. And it takes... I don't know. It's like, the writing's not always the most brilliant, no. and... Um... I know people, like, it does have, like, a total fan of, like, hardcore followers. Oh, totally, who, like, yeah. Who, like, get offended when people say how that they don't like it. And like, I, I but, think the basic idea of Attack on Titan is very cool. And as a writer myself, I can say execution is a big thing. You can have a good or a bad idea, and it really depends That's on how it's kinda, executed. I feel like it lacks some substance, I guess. Like, if you, like, look at it, like... Actually, before I some other YouTuber, on, I think it was uh, Rebel Taxi, made this point that like Batman. If you think about it, I'm a huge Batman fan too, and the concept basically concept a rich guy who lost his parents runs around in a bat suit and beats up criminals sounds kind of dumb, but 
the execution is done very well. Yeah. So execution is a huge thing. You can have what sounds like a stupid idea in theory and make it work. Yeah, execution is a big deal. And I'm going to execute a ton of people next time on role-playing games. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Like, comment, and subscribe. Beep, beep, beep.